divorce spouse benefits. Okay, same thing. The maximum an ex-spouse will receive is 50% of the other spouse's primary insurance amount. It's maximum. You can look at it this way. This is the way I look at it. An ex-spouse benefit is the same as the current spouse. It's the same as the current spouse. So you're entitled to the same benefit that the current spouse would be entitled to. Now, what do you need to do to qualify? You have to be single. You both have to be at least 62 when the benefit is claimed. And you must have been married continuously for 10 years. Social Security considers that an economic unit. So if you meet those three criteria and you're divorced, you can claim benefits off your ex-spouse, just like the current spouse can. Okay. Now, the ex-spouse benefit is higher than the worker benefit, so you really wouldn't want to claim an ex-spouse benefit if your worker benefit was higher, right? Because your benefit would be higher. Same reduction, 30%. If you remarry, the ex-spousal benefit goes away. So if you get remarried, you're done with the ex-spouse benefit. If you've been divorced two times or three times, as long as you were married 10 years to each of those individuals, you can claim off the highest one. So if number three is higher than number one and you've been collecting on number one, you can switch to number three. But you have to be older than 62 and you still have to be single. So you can pick and choose. So that's a, actually, it's kind of nice. Um, Ex-spouse benefits. Well, I tell you what, I mean, it is kind of nice because really, if you look at it, ex-spousal benefits are really kind of better than current spouse benefits. You have, you have a little bit more leverage and a little bit more leeway and a few more things you can do as an ex-spouse that you can't do as a current spouse. The general thinking there is, is that the current spouse is married to the worker and, the wor and is entitled to that income stream where an ex-spouse isn't. But there are a few more things you can do as an ex that you can't do as a current spouse. The good thing is, is ex-spouse benefits, they don't affect the worker benefit so if you're claiming on an ex-spouse, it doesn't affect that. And what it also doesn't do is it does not affect the current spouse benefit. So, you know, I've heard uh, people, you know, well, is my, as a current spouse, is my benefit going to be reduced? No. It has nothing to do with it. It's a whole separate calculation. Okay? Divorced spouse can still receive spousal benefits on ex if the spouse voluntarily suspends. That's one of the neat benefits that you can do as an ex-spouse. A current spouse can't do that. Um, when we talk about voluntary suspension, we'll get into that. But that's something a divorced spouse can do. The annual earnings test applies, deeming applies, windfall elimination, government pension, and family max all apply. And we'll talk about those. Here again, Spousal benefits, ex-spousal benefits are at their highest at full retirement age. No reason to wait past full retirement age. Now, there's one more hoop that you have to jump through as an ex-spouse, okay? And it's the two-year rule. So, if you are divorced less than two years or you're divorced more than two years. If you're divorced less than two years, your ex-spouse needs to be receiving a benefit. You are not entitled to an ex-spouse benefit if you've been divorced less than two years and your ex-spouse is not receiving a benefit. Okay? Now, what happens if you're considered independently entitled? If you're independently entitled, which means you've been divorced two years or more, then you don't have, your, your ex-spouse does not have to be receiving a benefit. So here is where it's better. A current spouse has to wait for their spouse to claim. If you've been divorced for two years, then your ex-spouse does not have to be claiming as long as he's 62. You can claim, and he's eligible, you can claim benefits. So... So if the ex-spouse is not receiving benefits, then you can only uh, claim if the ex-spouse is eligible. So if your ex-spouse is 59, even though you've been divorced two years, you still can't claim until he becomes eligible at 62. 